Welcome back to Traveling McGee. My name's Derek, and today we are going to be talking about the stinky subject of how someone who does van life uses the bathroom in their van. So let's get into it. <laughs> That's right. Today we are talking about the stinky, disgusting topic of how does someone who does van life full time, how do they use the bathroom in their van? And it's a question that I get asked a lot, actually. You know, how do how does someone who lives this lifestyle, how do they use the bathroom in their van? How do they go? What do they do? And before I kind of get into the messy business of it all, I want to just say that as a man, I have more privileges than, say, uh, my female counterparts that do van life. I, for me, it's, it's a little bit easier for me to use the restroom in the van just because I am a man. So I do want to kind of say that this video is geared toward how a man would, uh, you know, use the bathroom in a van compared to a woman. So I just want to put that out there before I, before I get into everything. Now, if you've seen any of my van tour videos, you will know that I do not have a plumbing system here in the van, meaning I don't have any running water. All of my water I have to buy in jugs, and then I put them into little bottles and things like that to use in and around the van. Uh, I kind of use this little guy to spray my face when I'm washing, um, you know, my body, when I'm brushing my teeth, if I need to wipe something down. It's nice to have a little bit of water for when you need it. Uh, this is not an RV by any means. This is not a, uh, a van that has a septic system. I have nothing like that. I am bare bones. So I kind of just want to show everybody how what my setup is and kind of answer some questions for you. The main one is how often I actually, you know, go number two in the van. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to keep it real with everybody because this is something that I don't think is really talked about that much. And if it is, it's kind of uh, sugar-coated, candy-coated. You know, you really don't hear about the, you know, negative side of it all. But um, <laughs> I very, 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 very rarely poop in the van. <laughs> uh, it's so weird to say, but I, I really don't. In, in the past year, I would say I've done it twice. Okay, I, I'll admit it. I'm just putting it all out there. I'm being open. I'm being uh, completely honest with everybody. <laughs> I've done it twice since, since uh, I've, I've had Bobby, and uh, they were not graceful experiences. It was not fun at all. It was... <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty disgusting to be honest with you. You know, finding a public restroom or a bathroom is really not as difficult as people might think. The chances of you not finding a bathroom, unless you're in a very, very rural area, it's not going to be that difficult to find a public restroom. But for me, my system is pretty basic. So this is my trash can. I call it a trash can because that's primarily what I use it for. This you know, is a five gallon bucket that you can get at, I got this at Lowe's, but you know, Home Depot sells them, Walmart sells them. They're like four or five dollars a piece. They usually come with a plastic lid, but I upgraded mine and I got me one of these, which is a basic travel RV toilet seat. And it's all plastic, it's hinged as you saw, and it just kind of snaps onto the lid of the bucket. And it sits on there really nice. So what I do is I put a trash can or a trash bag right into this, and then I will put my lid on top of that so it seals the outside. And it works great as a trash can. I have a lid, so nothing, you know, no bad smells from like food scraps or anything like that is leaking out. I'm also very purposeful for using scented trash bags. I can't stress that enough in a small confined space, especially when you're in an area that's really hot. Smells are just going to happen, especially if you're putting food waste into your trash can. You really want to have a nice scented trash bag. It really helps. Uh, it was kind of a godsend. I use 
I guess it's lemon fresh, I don't know, but it really does help. But for in those moments when nature is calling and your voicemail box is full, <laughs> and uh, you have to answer the call, I will double bag this can that I have here. Slap, well, the lid will be on, but I'll make sure that there's no trash in there, just a completely empty trash bag. And I will kind of just prop it up here to the side, move everything that I have in this vicinity onto my bed or whatever. And I will do what I have to do. Uh, yeah, but it, you know, it's human nature. It happens. It's, you have to go to the bathroom. It's part of, part of life. And so another thing that I have are these flushable toilet wipes. And these aren't just designed for, you know, I kind of treat them just like I would baby wipes. You know, if, I was, if I'm in an area where I can't readily take a shower, or if I'm not bathing or maybe swimming, I really rely on these. They're wet, you know, they come in these nice sealed packages. So, it, you know, I just treat it like a baby wipe. And a lot of times that's how I bathe. I will, you know, I'll do my armpits, I'll do my, my legs and, you know, more sensitive areas and just kind of spritz myself with water the rest of the time. But that really does help just kind of keep you relatively clean. You know, if you do that twice a day, once in the morning and once at night, you're really good to go because you're taking care of those more intimate areas. And it, it does help, but also using them as toilet paper is nice too because they're also scented. And again, that just kind of helps cover any bad smells. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so once I'm finished doing my business on my little toilet here, I will take both bags, I will double wrap them, I will put them into another trash bag, so that's three trash bags. So if anybody sees me taking that out of my van, they will just assume that, you know, you can't see through it. And, you know, really, I, I would see this a lot actually in gas stations, you know, people have babies and they have dirty diapers, what do they do? You know, they put them in a bag and they throw them in the trash. And no one really blinks an eye at that. So. I kind of just make sure that any types of smell, any type of, uh, you know, visual that you could see of what went on in that bag <laughs> is covered up and no one can see that. So, I, you know, I just take extra care to triple bag it and, you know, I try to find a place to dispose of it as quickly as possible and get it out of the van and just be done with it. You have to think about other people's safety too. Anytime you're handling something like fecal matter, uh, you know, there's a potential of passing on, you know, bacteria to another person because it's, it's fecal matter. Um, so I just try to be very close with it, very safe with it, very tight with it. And uh, I just try to take the precautions for someone that might be coming out to empty that trash so that they're not touching it. I think that's a really important point to make as well. So that pretty much covers the pooping edition. Um, another thing that humans have to do is going number one, urinating, peeing, whatever you call it. It's a thing of life. We all do it. And when I am in the van, I'll just be honest and say I pee a lot more than I do poop. <laughs> so for that, I actually have standard empty water jug. You know, this is the same type of water jug that I use to bring water into the van. And as I go through them, I will just use one as a pee bottle and, you know, keep the rest. Once it is full, I either try to find a public restroom where I can take it in and dump it. If I am in, you know, if I'm out hiking or something like that, I'll put it in my backpack. I'll take it far out into the woods and just dump it somewhere. Uh, and then I will throw the bottle away. You know, I don't reuse the bottle. <laughs> it's not good at all. <laughs> just more smells and things like that to get into your van. It's just not good, you know, probably for health reasons as well. I will say it's also really important to get a, uh, a very tight fitting bottle cap or, you know, a, a container that can close very tightly. You do not want something left in your van that could potentially fall over and spill. That is a terrible thing to have to clean up and a terrible thing to have to continue to smell and deal with. So really having a container that is well sealed and won't let out any smells or leak on you is so, so important. Now, if you don't feel comfortable pooping in a bucket, there are a couple different other ways that you can go about this. I've seen on Amazon, they have, they're basically like travel, travel toilets. They are a, um, a toilet seat with a removable kind of middle part that collects the waste. 
and then does it it does the kind of the same thing it puts it in a bag and there's special types of bags that it uses which are very heavy duty and won't let out a lot of smells and things like that and you know i've also seen people set up full septic systems into their van with a, a septic tank and you know somehow they hook up running water to some type of a toilet and it works for them obviously if you have the room and the space and the the know-how to set up a system like that but again i really do just want to stress to everybody that it is not as difficult as everyone thinks to find a public restroom a lot of times i'm away from other people so anytime that i'm in the woods i'm in the mountains i'm wherever i'll do my business out there just like anybody else like a hunter would like a any other hiker would do someone doing a big day hike you know it, it happens it's 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 a part of life and i don't think it's anything to be embarrassed about and when that time comes you know this is how i do it also these toilet seat lids uh this one i bought at walmart it was about eight dollars super super cheap it fits any type of five gallon bucket and it just snaps right on there so it's a great thing to have especially even if you aren't using it just having it in your van in case of emergencies that's really why i have this in case i was ever sick in case i ever you know had diarrhea or something and couldn't make it to a restroom i knew that this was an option and uh, it's worked out pretty much so far more in the lines of for a trash can <laughs> getting real with everybody <laughs> <laughs> but hey you know what this is the messy side of van life that a lot of us you know this is our reality and we, we've chose to exist like this and deal with little things like this and yeah it does get old and i think in my time uh you know again not really having to struggle finding a bathroom i didn't really have to deal with a lot of bathroom type issues but there are definitely times when it's like man i just really wish that i had a toilet here and you know a functioning toilet that uh, didn't consist of a plastic trash bag as far as other hygiene that i kind of deal with you know i like i said i have my water bottle i have um i have dry shampoo that i like to use instead of doing the whole you know wetting the hair and shampoo and all that kind of stuff uh dry shampoo is really handy i don't use it often because I, I've been reading a lot of articles where the chemicals in it can actually damage your hair. So I really only use it on days when my hair is feeling kind of greasy and I just kind of want to uh, fluff it up a little bit and not have it look so bad. I do have a regular bag of toiletries which contains my toothbrush, my toothpaste, dental floss, mouthwash. I have uh, ample amounts of deodorant. You know, de deodorant's a huge one. It just kind of helps you smell good. Helps you feel a little bit cleaner. Also having a nice spray bottle of like Febreze or fabric freshener. Spray down your bedding, spray down your sheets, spray down your car seats. You know, as you sweat, you know, the van's going to start to stink a little bit. So, and any time that you can have your windows open, allowing fresh air to come in is also super important too. You want that fresh air to come in. You want to get some of that stale kind of van air out. So anytime that you can have your windows cracked or windows open or your doors open is super important just to allow that fresh air to come through. But also, you know, that's one of the benefits of traveling alone. If you smell, there's no one here to tell you. And you know, anybody that I meet on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm probably not gonna see ever again in my life. So if I smell in front of them, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. No, I, I, I really don't smell. And you know, as long as I do my kind of like bird bath in the morning, put on a nice amount of deodorant, make sure that my underclothes are clean, um you know freshening up my face freshening up my hair doing little things like that and then bird bathing a little bit at night i stay rather clean it's really not that bad it's not as bad as i think people um think it might be so anyway that's how i go to the bathroom in my van when on rare occasions i do i'm not embarrassed by it and hopefully this answered some of your questions i know it's a big topic that people like to know about because it is something that is important and should be discussed you know with honesty because it is a big part of traveling it's a big part of van life it's a reality that a lot of us have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis so hopefully this kind of helped everybody to get a better sense of what goes on Definitely not fun <laughs> something you got to do when you got to do it so with that i will end this video here i hope everybody is doing well and i hope everyone enjoys the holidays and everybody has some safe travels ahead of them and i will see everybody on the next video take care
<coughs> you know, fake smelling smell, no. But for in those moments when nature is calling and your voicemail box is full, <laughs> and uh, you have to answer the call, there's nothing graceful about it. It's not enjoyable at all. It's not fun. It's <laughs> a little thing to have, a little bit of water where you need those, but you know, Home Depot sells them, Walmart sells them. They're like four or five dollars a piece. You have, I will well, let's do that. dig a little hole, pop and squat, and let it go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mom, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. 